What's up coders? Welcome to episode 1.1 of our Google Apps Script course. In this video we're going to be talking about how to create and open spreadsheets. So the top three methods for doing this are create, open by ID, and open by URL. So you see this is just going to be my notation going forward. If you see the square brackets in any of these methods, for instance that first method says rows and columns, those are optional arguments. You do not have to include them. Secondly, you can see at the very, very bottom that line. So the entire line there is the URL. And the part in the bluish green is the ID. So if you open by ID, just include that part in the bluish green. It'll make more sense once we go into the code. So let's do that now. So we're back here where we left off. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new script file. So I'm going to do this for every single episode. This one now we're on episode one, just to stay a little bit organized. And if we need to reference code, we can always go back. If you remember from our first episode or episode zero, we created a new spreadsheet already. So that was right here. It came up. And now we're going to use this same method to create it, except for we're going to use the optional parameters this time, just to change it up a bit. So spreadsheet app dot create. So again, this first method we used to, to create a new spreadsheet, give it a name. We're going to use this one now and also give it uh, the amount of rows and columns. So this one I'm going to say my other spread sheet let's just say 100 rows and 26 columns save it and when, when we run it now no errors that's good so let's go into our Google Sheets interface refresh the page and boom there it is my other spreadsheet so that for me when I do stuff like that programmatically that just excites me so much because traditionally you would have to make a new blank spreadsheet, but now you're a an official programmer. You just created this new spreadsheet using code. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to comment that out for right now because I don't want to continue making or creating new spreadsheets. Now we're going to open that spreadsheet. So let's say spreadsheet app. Actually, before we do that, let's just click into my other spreadsheet just to verify that it had all 100 rows and 26 columns no more no less alright so we're in here and we can see that indeed it has 100 rows and indeed it has 26 columns there's 26 letters of the alphabet so that's good to open this you can do it two ways you can do it by URL or you can do it by ID so let's do the URL first. So spreadsheet app dot open by URL. You can see it takes a parameter of URL and it takes it as a string. So a string is just anything basically surrounded by quotes. So let's write our quotes in there first. Let's grab our URL, copy that, put it inside the quotes, put a semicolon there just for good measure, and run the function. So again, if we get no error, that means that the function ran to completion. So that's good. So now we have access to that. Uh, we didn't really do anything with it, but we just opened it. So that's, that's good to know that we can at least do that. The other one is open by ID. So let's just um, delete that and say open by ID now. And it, again, it takes a string as a parameter. Oops. So let's put our quotes in there. So the ID, if you remember from the slides, it's right here in between this D and before the edit. So really what you can just do is just click it. Oops, this one actually has a hyphen in it, so we're just going to have to highlight all of it. Copy that. Put it in between the two quotes. And I'm not actually sure if this is quicker than the other method or not. It does seem a little bit more complicated, but if you want to look like, I suppose, kind of impressive when you're showing off your code, you can just write the open by ID and then 
It looks a little bit more cryptic, I suppose. I'm not really sure what the advantages of using either are, but if anybody knows, you know, you can let me know. Let's save this, run it. All right, it ran to completion, so there it was. So this found this correct, it found this spreadsheet and it opened it. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.